Hey, check these. Bam. Hey you, my name is Ian and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. I don't do these kind of videos very often. I don't know why, maybe I should. So those two photos I just showed you, it was really fun making them and they did pretty well on Instagram compared to my other photos. Hence, this tutorial. As usual, I kind of expect you guys to already have some kind of basic Photoshop knowledge. It's kind of a, I don't know, medium level, I guess, tutorial. So if these are too fast for you or you need some kind of introductory tutorials, let me know. And now the most cliche YouTube line ever. Without further ado, Let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is obviously drag them into Photoshop. We are going to do two sets of pictures, one with Sebil, which is in central Sarajevo, and this is a mosque in a castle above Travnik. Now, an extremely important thing about these photos, and that's pretty much half of the work, is making sure that you take the two photos correctly. They should both be composed exactly the same, the difference being one is focused on your phone with your phone in the shot, or whatever other object you're going to use, and the other one is focused on the background, but as you can see, the background doesn't move, or maybe slightly, but you can also align that later in post. Just like on this image, you have the phone in the foreground, this time it's a little bit tilted, and the background stays in exactly the same place, just the focus changes, and that is extremely important. Now I'm gonna copy the contents of the background layer and put it on top of the phone layer. Set the opacity of this one, and we start playing around with it. It doesn't have to be like extremely precise, but it does have to be in the general area. Now you mask out the phone, or the lasso tool, or whatever. One pixel feather should be enough. We can always change that later. Pick the contents of the screen. It might be a whole screen with bevels in your case, which would make it a lot more difficult, but that's just something you have to learn to work with. And we mask out the top layer to be in this layer. Now we're going to keep masking out the contents of this layer which are going to be in focus. Okay, Don't worry if you make a mistake, since we do non-destructive editing with masks right here, we can always return what we removed by accident. We take a hard brush now, maybe let's do 98 or so, hide the contents. That should not be peeking out of the phone. And I start masking this part in. Use shift for this hard lines and you're going to get much, much more precise results. Okay, so this part of the phone is masked in. And we're almost near completion. You're pretty much done with the effect. Most people are probably going to be happy stopping here. We got into the screen a little bit. That was not intentional. And now it's just about making it more believable with certain little details for example as you can see on the phone the bevel here is clearly in focus where the the top bevel which is slightly further away from the camera is less in focus so what you do is blur the mask so that it meets the requirements of the picture so you see the top bevel is more blurry than the bottom bevel and you can do things like darkening the area where this building comes out of the phone. So assuming in reality that it would be peeking out of the phone, it would cast a shadow on the background. So what I would do is I would take a black brush, make sure it's soft, and draw the shadow on the back. Obviously we'd make it some kind of overlay or one of the other types of blending effects and make it very, very subtle. And there we have one potentially good final photo obviously any kind of effects that you want to go over this is entirely up to you for example i sometimes like to put um, colorful filters on top that kind of give it a little bit more emotion so it's not just kind of blank and bland but gives a little bit of warmth for example the sky has the sun and the outside is a little bit cold so i'd put an overlay layer of orange and blue you know in this case maybe it wouldn't work so well because the color of my skin is warm so i'd put the warm one on top of my skin you know you kind of play around with it and see what works for you you can also do a flat gradient for example orange to blue or maybe better blue to orange like this the blending mode to screen and you kind of do a little light leaks like this which is an effect that i borrowed well, borrowed and stole because i keep borrowing it from light without heat my instagram partner in crime but it's up to you 
looks cool. Now let's do a speed version of this second image just so you kind of get the steps into your head. Post this on top, change the opacity so that we can't, because this was shot out of hand, obviously for more precision you shoot it out of a tripod or so, put the opacity back, hide this, take my selection tool, damn I can't see the edges of my screen here. We got this selected, we mask this with the selection. See what, what we would do with this finger here, that really depends on your style and we'll have to fit it out later. Let's first reveal the contents. It all really depends on a case by case scenario because little details like this you cannot predict really. Shout out thing over here. And on my finger, I'm gonna go to overlay and obviously decrease the opacity. Do something that looks decently realistic. That should be fine. And what we didn't do yet is blur the foreground of the phone, which should not be so much in focus. Now I'm not, we're not actually blurring the photo, we're just blurring the mask so that the, the, the border isn't as crisp as it is otherwise. Okay, that's fine. And we got another picture ready for effects to be put on top. And that is how you make that awesome photo for Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that was educational. Send your results to me so I can go and like them and comment them and whatever. And I'm going to see you guys next week. I need to go back. I'm going on a vacation.